Is this heaven? It's Iowa. Iowa? I could have sworn it was heaven. Maybe it is. Hey friends, this is Pastor Ron with this week's Message of Hope. Maybe John Kinsella had it right in Field of Dreams. Maybe this is heaven. After all, Bush Stadium is baseball heaven. Matthew tells us that Jesus' first message was a simple one. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven has come near. In Luke's gospel, Jesus says this, you won't be able to say, here it is, or it's over there, for the kingdom of God is already among you. This is heaven. Elsewhere, Jesus talks about the kingdom being a future reality. After all, he asked us to pray, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Oh, so this isn't heaven? Which is it? A present or future reality? The answer is yes. Don't you love sarcasm? I'm filming this on Thursday morning, April 22nd. This is the second morning in a row we've had frost. Those of us who put plants and flowers out have been covering them up or dragging them inside, haven't we? Spring technically came a month ago. Here we are on April 22nd, and it still feels like winter. But this is spring, make no mistake about it. Trees and flowers are blooming, and the grass needs cutting, and the drab gray of winter is slowly fading. But winter doesn't go away easily in Missouri, and neither does the curse of sin. Let me cut to the chase. This is not a contradiction in Jesus' teachings or the Bible. This is a tension. It's what theologians call the already not yet. With Jesus coming came the king and his kingdom. Wherever the will of God is done, there we see the kingdom of heaven. And we are to pray that it is done as perfectly on earth as it is in heaven. But we pray this way because it isn't this way. Everywhere we see and experience the reality of God's will being violated. Only when Jesus returns in power and glory will the kingdom be fully realized. Until then, we get little glimpses, what we might call glory sightings, where we see God at work. One day, in that glorious future, Jesus will reign over the world and all the effects of the curse will be banished. No more pain, no more disease, no more crying, and no more death. So what does this have to do with your life right now? Everything. In Matthew's gospel, it's called literally the kingdom of the heavens. In Hebrew understanding, the first heaven was what we would call the air around us, the wind, the breeze that we feel. God's presence is here right now. He is closer to you than your next breath. Reach out to him. The kingdom is already here. The kingdom is not yet here. There's wrongdoing, there's disease, suffering, and heartache. If someone ever told you, by the way, that uh, you'd be healed of that sickness if you just had enough faith, don't be alarmed. That theology is not only wrong, it's naive. Jesus did not heal every sick person in Israel during his ministry, and every person is not healed on this side of eternity. By the way, if that guilt trip has been laid on you by some well-intentioned but misinformed Christian, I'm sorry. Healing is a mystery. My mentor, Bob Tuttle, has a saying, Good theology is balance without compromise. Like the already, not yet. The kingdom is already here. Pray with boldness and expectation. The kingdom is not yet here. So pray with hope that Jesus comes soon and makes everything that's wrong right. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. The late Dallas Willard once said, this is a God bathed and God permeated world. It's a world filled with a glorious reality where every component is within the range of God's direct knowledge and control. Though he obviously permits some of it, for good reasons, to be for a while otherwise than as he wishes. It is a world that is inconceivably beautiful and good because of God and because God is always in it. And that's true, even when it's freezing cold in late April. Is this heaven? It's Missouri, where it's both winter and spring at the same time. But make no mistake about it, spring is coming fully. No more frost, no more coats, no more dragging your plants inside at night. Is this heaven? Not really, but it is a God-saturated world and you ain't seen nothing yet.
The best is yet to come. Hold on to hope. It's a living hope. May this hope fill your heart and mind, and may it warm your heart.